how's it going, everybody? Um, so we're going to be talking specifically about gaming performance today. And uh, we're going to go into one tweak that should increase your guys' gaming performance. Like, a thousand percent. Like, it's going to be night and day difference. And uh, we'll just go ahead and get started with that. Open this, open the terminal up, and then we'll make this bigger so you can see. So we're going to be going into max map count. As you can see, I've reset mine, so it's default right now, which is 65,000. This is going to hinder a lot of programs from actually using the memory they need. So if you head over to the ArchWiki here and go to the game compatibility section. Notice how they, they have all this set up right now. Um, you can call whatever, this file whatever you want. The important thing is that this number is high enough that it loads correctly. So you can use 80, that's fine. That's what I've been using. Um, and then just put this in there and it'll it'll set that every time the computer boots. So you don't have to worry about it. And if you're going to set this right now on a live system, you can just reload all the comp files and it'll apply that. So uh, I'm going to give you guys an example of how bad this can be. We're going to use GTA 5. And uh, I've had, I've, it's notorious that I've had issues with this game, so I'm I'm curious how this is going to go. If it works flawlessly, I'm going to be very surprised. Because <laughs> I have had nothing but issues. Without doing this, at least. I'm going to leave this all uncut, too. So that you can see all this happening in real time. Okay, we're also going to load into online because that's, I, well, we could show you in single player, actually, but online is where I've noticed it the most, excuse me. Um, we'll just enter the story mode, I guess. I can enter the story mode and then go online after that, I think. So my sensitivity is pretty low. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, yeah, let's load online. Okay. This is going to take a minute. Just so everybody knows. Pay close attention to the frame rates, too, because they're going to be pretty low, I think. I don't know that for sure, but... Oh, also, we're using the vanilla Debian kernel, so that you can see the, the difference in real time. Normally, I'm on the Xanmond kernel. I installed that fairly recently. But today, I wanted to show you... Um like vanilla performance improvements. Also, the RAM might change too. I don't know that for sure. We'll find out. Okay. So you can see we're getting 60, 60-ish frames. Oh, shoot. Uh... Okay. 
I don't think it's gonna matter if I get a a claim. Hopefully I caught it fast enough. So normally when I'm riding around like this, it's it's pretty rough to play. But it seems to be fairly okay at the moment. There's graphical glitches happening. Oh, so, um, there is one other thing I did. I grabbed Mesa 23 from the Debian Experimental repo. So... That could have something to do with this, but even on Arch, it, like, lagged pretty bad. So we'll see what happens. I'm actually surprised it's running as good as it is right now. To be completely honest with you. It's making me look like a fool. Can I have this oh, Wow, I forgot how annoying this this game can be with the phone calls and stuff. Right now we're getting into a city. We'll see if this makes a difference. It's hitching a little bit. I'm curious to see, it's locked at 60. I wonder why that is. Sync is off. That's interesting. Huh. And we're at 165 hertz. Huh. I'll be curious to see if the frame rate goes up after we do this. How is this running so smooth? Is it the Mesa upgrade? It can't be, right? Oh, here we go. Now we're starting to get into the, the thick of it. We'll just wheel up the mountain, I guess. Because that's where the performance issues lie. I, like, could not play this before, so I'm actually surprised. The frame rate is pretty low, though. I will say that. Alright, I think we've seen enough. Alright, we're gonna exit the game. Again, totally uncut. This is taking a minute to close. Wow. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, 
let's let's nano back nano into our our pre-made file that I had set up because I've been using this. Um, I just called it game compatibility because that's kind of easy for me to remember. Um, we will uncomment this. I had that pre-commented. And then we're going to do a sudo sysctl dash dash system. Notice how it applied it right here. And then we'll do another. We'll cat this, make sure it applied. Okay. All right, let's go back in GTA, to GTA 5. And we'll see if anything changed. I hope something changed, but we'll see. Also, we have game mode and all that running too, so I don't think that's doing anything extraordinary to make it not lag before, but so we're going to keep an eye on the frame rate and also the RAM usage. If it's more behaved in the RAM department, that would be very interesting. The frame rate should be over 60 now, though. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this doesn't take forever, but it could. Loading into online, I've noticed, has been... It takes a minute. All right, here we go. We are back in the game. Okay. So I want to call... Let's get an actual car, not the spike. I'm on the clock. What you want? Some wheels? Um, oh, shoot. Okay, I got stuff to do. Okay. Through to your garage. You uh, need me to bring you a ride? I'll bring it by. There's a trick you can do where uh, if you turn around and there's a road behind you, it'll just spawn on the road directly behind you. This is getting just a little bit. Okay. 
So let's find out if it's any better. You know, it, it feels a little better. Uh, I'm actually... How is it actually... No, it, it is better. Because before it would only go to 60. Like 60 frames. Now it's, it's getting above 70. Actually just above 60 in general. When it was stuck there before. So that's good. Also, the GPU usage appears to be down a little bit, which is odd. So I think I'm gonna call this your mileage may vary, but in some games, like for instance Daisy, you can't even launch the game on a stock map count. Like, the game won't even open. And also, there's instances like Star Citizen, if you want to play that on Linux, you have to up the map count, too. So, it, it's almost worth just doing that, in general. Um, maybe GTA was a bad example for this, but... It, it's like the one game that I've actually noticed a difference in, with this. But today, it's like totally proven me wrong, so... So I I'm gonna put an asterisk and be like, your mileage may vary. Because it's interesting to me that it didn't repeat the behavior I've seen in the past. This is <laughs> it's pretty good to go out on. I was surprised I didn't crash the thing. Alright, well, I guess your mileage may vary. This might help some of you, it might not others. Um, I hope it helps. I'm sure it will in some games, but um, you guys will have to test this on your system. You don't have to do the config file thing, because <laughs> that sets it permanently. You can kind of do A-B testing. You have to reboot to reset it though. Um, but yeah, hopefully this helped. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.